This video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now I'll be showing you how to automatically correct the white balance for a group of photos. Now in the past we've shown you how to correct white balance, but um, usually what will happen is if you take your photos without the correct white balance, you'll find that you've taken a whole bunch of photos with the incorrect white balance. And um, what could, there, there's a number of things that could happen when you do this, is that either you're taking photos outside and there is uh, the lighting condition is changing, you've taken it over a period of time where the light values would be different or in different rooms where we'd have different concentrations of color of light. Or you would have taken at least a portion of your photos within the same lighting conditions. And you'll find that usually this is what happens. So for example, if we have a look here at this photo, this photo was taken outside. Now, um, I've taken many photos outside on the beach and they were unfortunately all with this incorrect white balance. So I have a whole group of photos that are that have this bluish red tint to it that was set incorrectly in the camera. And instead of correcting each one individually, we're going to show you how to create an uh an automated way to save an action to save the correction done to the photo and then apply that exact correction to the same group of photos. Now it is imperative that when you're doing this, you're doing this to the group of photos that has the same light value. So you, you you can see this by opening up the photos and if you have a group of photos that are all equally off, if they're all equally red or yellow or whatever it is, then um, you can do this. If if not, if you have a group of varying different things, then you need to split them up. Just take your photos and um, put them in different folders and categorize them depending on the light values, you know, too yellow or too red and so forth. And then you can correct to each group of photos. So in this case, we're going to correct all my photos here that are slightly too blue, too red, uh, incorrect. So what we need to do here is uh, pull up our actions palette. If you don't have that up, just go to Window and Actions. That'll bring that up. And now we need to just create a new action. So we're going to click on a new paper icon here. And we're going to set this to Correct White Balance, WB, White Balance. And I'm going to press Enter, and it's going to start recording. Now you notice that there's a Stop button here. There's a Record and a Play. Now, um, when the record is on, then every action that you do in Photoshop will be recorded. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Image, adjustments and variations. Now what we're going to do here is um, set um, the variation correct. Now this this I've shown you before how to create the white balance, right? So we have our original image here and our current pick and the way we correct this is um, for example if we have too much blue and too much magenta then we just need to think the opposite go across here too much blue so you add more green too much magenta and you add yellow and essentially correct the photo. So you just need to play around with the correcting the white balance first of one of your photos, right, of the group. And we're going to click OK. We've corrected that, right? So now it is to the correct white balance. So we just need to press stop now. And we have essentially our correction of white balance action saved. So that's done. So we can go ahead and uh, just close this image here. We're not going to save it. And uh, as you can see here, we have in my group of photos here, I have my three images here that are incorrect in my photos. And now we're going to go ahead and correct these three photos, right? Now, obviously, I'm going to correct anything that's inside of my photos um, folder. So you can have, you know, 100 photos. It, it's, it's as many as you like it to be. So now we're just going to go ahead and go to File, Automate, and Batch. Now, if you've um, if you created the action and you've gone straight to Batch, then the action will be already selected here the correct white balance. If not, you can select it from the list, but it'll usually be the last one you created. And the source, you're going to create, a, you're going to select folder, and you're going to choose the folder. So we're going to go here and select my group of photos here. So uh, the ones on my desktop here, my three images, right? And for the destination, we also want to select uh, a folder. And now we're going to select a, fo a folder. We're going to create a new folder. And I'm going to uh, name this as a corrected photos. Right. Now we're going to save them here. So um, just to recap here, we are taking um, our folder 
of photos that is called photos here that is on my uh, desktop and I'm saving this to a new folder called corrected photos and this is a really good way to do this because you keep your original photos so that in case you want to go back or if you think you made a mistake you have your originals always leave your originals there if you think you don't need your photos uh, your original ones later you can just delete them but it's always a good idea to not overwrite the photos with uh, a batch process so if you're happy with the file name you can just leave it as it is it's just going to create the same file names if not you can change the file name the naming convention here uh, and play around with it. And we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to see what uh, Photoshop is going to do. It's just going to open each one of those photos, correct it, save it, and close it. So it'll be a very quick process. Uh, have a look. There we are. It's done it. So I'm just going to go here into my desktop. And as you can see, we have our, the original photos one here. And we have the corrected photos. I'm going to open this up. And as you can see, we have our corrected photos. I'm going to open this in Photoshop. And there we are, we have a correct white balance. I'm just going to show you here on the thumbnail preview here on my desktop uh, what this looks like here. So we have our um, original photos and our corrected photos. And as you can see, it's all done beautifully. So that's a good way to uh, automatically correct the white balance on all your photos at once. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.